hello everyone welcome back to my channel first i must apologize for the long pause today i'm going to las vegas to attend my daughter's high school graduation and then i'm going to vlog vegas for you come with me on this adventure this is my watch us touch down las vegas hey folks on the flight deck not quite into the gate yet so, uh, give us a little bit of time we got another 100 feet to go or so we'll watch you know it's safe to get up by turn off that seatbelt sign thank you for your patience your compliance But we are here in Las Vegas and tomorrow is Emily's uh, graduation, so that's why we get to go. to show you something it's funny because only airport that I know of they have casinos right in the waiting area it's amazing these are actual casino uh, slot machines uh, that tells you how much they want you to gamble even as you are leaving you can use your last money to play the slot machine This only happens in Vegas. Cool. So, right now, I'm going to get to luggage claim, and go outside and get my car, and check out my hotel. So, keep with me, and I'll show you Las Vegas. See if I can catch this train and moving kind of slow. Can I get in? Is it a little, yeah. I mean, a little annoyed? Yeah. Definitely not. Thank you. Excuse me. All right, just made that. Okay. Please stand right. clear of the so tram doors. Terminal 1 baggage claim. services and shuttle buses that will take you to inside of Las Vegas if you're going to rent. Check out this limo. That's a good one. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. Good money. Check out this limo. That's Vegas for you. <laughs> wow. This is crazy, y'all. Check out this limo right. That's Vegas. Yeah, you wouldn't think it's cold in, in Vegas. No. <laughs> in the desert? Yeah. <laughs> Just a second. So guys, we're here in a line for the shuttle to the car rental. And it's kind of, it's kind of cold, chilly here. I didn't expect that. I guess it's early in the morning, about 8 something in the morning. Yeah, you can. Okay. 
So let me just show the. This is line to go into the buses that will take you to the car rental, different car rental places. I'm going to Alamo to get my car and, uh, and then go to actually go to Summerlin because that's where my daughter and her mom lives and that's where all the things are going to be going on but my hotel is going to be on the street as usual so that's where the action is um, but welcome to Las Vegas this is uh, every morning same see how people are pouring into the city Playground for the weekend. It's crazy people are all over the US. Into this city. This is American's playground city. And uh, I'm gonna show you that it's gonna blow your mind. I'll show you that, especially at night. Daytime is really not that uh, impressive, but when night falls, you will see a heaven and earth in this city. Stay with me as I go try to get a car because I can't be in this town taking Uber or Lyft. It's gonna be too expensive. But the big guys, they take act. Those limos over there. That's how they ride. Look at the vans they take. That's for the big rollers. Vegas, baby. Vegas. These people are checking out. It's a Saturday, so I don't know why many people will be leaving Vegas on Saturday because that's when the fun is. Friday and Saturday nights are the fun. I am looking for Alamo on this left side. But all the rental companies are here. Of course, there's a Starbucks. And, uh, all this you're seeing are rental companies. From AV's Budget, Six, Payless, Chifty, Enterprise, Dollar, Cars, and Alamo. I'm going to Alamo. National. Man, these people are bringing their private jets in here. That's what they do. It will blow your mind what they do here. Now we are literally in the on the strip. In 1,000 feet, use the left two lanes to turn left onto West Russell Road. Okay, I need to shut that. guys I mounted my stuff and we are already on the street Tropicana is to my right MGM Grand is to my right too but in front and this is uh, New York second second just past second second this is New York 
about 10 of y'all up right there. This is the Empire State Building and stuff like that. Yeah, that's just presenting New York. Strip. That's the humongous MGM Grand on the on the other side. It's amazing. MGM, one hell of a hotel. Look at these guys and these chips. Jesus, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve chips. Look like they got a, a little chip club going. And of course, that's New York. That's New York Resort. New York, New York. It uh, just basically represents uh, New York. show you this town a lot more we're just getting in check out that MGM lion man for those of you who don't know Tupac was shot right here at the, at the corner, this M MGM corner. I was driving and then they shot him. That's a notable history now with MGM. This is where most fights go on in the US. The heavyweight fights, the big, big fights happen here. This whole place is called the Strip in Las Vegas. I'm gonna vlog it for you at night to help believe what the lighting looks like. Venetian. I love Venetian. But last time I was here, I stayed at uh, Bellagio. After Bellagio is Caesar's, Caesar's Palace. Go all to my left. And Hotel Paris is right to my right. Pretty nice place. They have fantastic live bands i don't know if they're still there but man i used to frequent there a lot when i bring people to vegas we hang out a lot at night night time in hotel paris it's a beautiful place and i'm gonna come by and show you all these places and i guarantee you you're not gonna regret recognize the same place because the lighting in Las Vegas is out of this world. It's going to change everything that you see around you. But this this Vegas is a playground in America. And just like Dubai is a playground for the rest of the world. But this is America's playground. 
And you can see the American boys flying American flag on some rugged ass jeeps. That's what we're talking about. to show you the last show. That's where the dancing fountains are. boys, a uh, cousin of mine, is the chief computer uh, engineer here at uh, Wind Casinos. Uh, he's a uh, very smart IT guy. And, um, he's the head of the IT department there. In other words, <laughs> everything works. In the, a boy from my village. Uh, very interesting story. Well, uh, this is how it is. Yeah. When we see guys like that, we just smile because we were very instrumental in their coming here. Uh, I'm 
makes us proud. I'm very proud of him. It's just crazy to be out of this world, man. Right? This world on this playground. You come to Vegas, you come to play. Center is in front of us with the malls. Um, you can go there and shop for anything. I'm gonna go back there later. And all of this is still Venetian grounds until you see wind. This is the Hilton Resort. It looks like they, they have just remodeled it or did something to it. And it's just totally, totally amazing. Vegas is an amazing place. Down this street, we're going straight to um, downtown, which we call the old Vegas. It's uh, Fremont. It's the old Vegas. The lighting is different. Sometimes I like to go down there just for the old flair of it. That's where Vegas began. And up this way is where the new um, Razzmatazz is. But I still like some of the, the things that are going down there. Stratosphere is uh, very old. Uh, stuff there. And this is really, really cool. Hilton Resort is fantastic now. And these are all small shops where you can buy stuff t shirts, uh, trinkets, Vegas related stuff. Yeah, and if you go into the inside, you find those small chapels where people come all over the the world to wed, you know, and do a drive-through wedding and stuff like that. That's in Vegas. That's uh, in, in Nevada. They can um, they can wed you in the space of five minutes, and that wedding. Here is old, old Vegas. This is old, it's 
don't seem like they're knocking things down, trying to put new stuff here, but this is old world in, in Vegas. Stratosphere Hotel. And uh, on top of that hotel, there is a, what do you call it? Um, a, a roller, roller ride or something. I want to thank you all for watching and once again thank you for coming on this trip with me to las vegas to my congolese fans uh please do not worry once i get back to congo i'll start vlogging thank you all god bless you